So, I want to present to you all one of my new masks. It's an, an American mask made, made in the USA. And it's got something special attached to it. The voice amplifier. <laughs> so, I expect you all to hear me a lot more clearly. Um, it's got a little tube inside. Um, some say it's for breathing and others for drinking. Um, I've I've um, on the Sheck mask, which I, it's somewhere in my garage. I've been meaning to make more videos with it now that I know how to properly put the filters on. Um, but I made a video with that, you know, I was drinking a Budweiser. <laughs> um, actually, yeah, it's got a cool tube. It almost looks like one of those sneaker tokes. Okay. Seal. Kind of smells like. Okay. And the camera. So for these, yeah, that's good. Pull them back. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Not tight enough. I can hear my breath uh, ten times better. <laughs> I'm not satisfied until it is tightly fitted onto my face and head. So, uh, how do I sound? Now there's two versions. This one's the tighter fit. So, um, I really, really love it. Um, it kind of smells like smoke, like someone smoking cigars or cigarettes. Like, smell it, you know, like, they might have, like, hotboxed themselves with the smoke or something. I'm not sure what they used. But it's definitely some sort of tobacco and thing. Um, I do have a cool filter on here. Um, it's just that this person left the smell inside the mask, and it's, <sighs> it doesn't smell too great. Um, a little about me, I don't really like cigarettes, I don't, I just don't. Um, you can smoke around me, but I prefer not that you don't, because the smell is overwhelming, and... Most of the time, I am not prepared with a mask like this. I'd probably wear a different mask because this one needs to air out. I might need to just clean it again. Um, I did find some... Just today, I found the soap. Um, it's like this powder soap, and it's supposed to be made especially for gas masks. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, like... I've been using like Clorox wipes and I don't 
feel like that's good for the masks and the soap and water. Um, but after finding this, um, I'm going to try it. Um, wonder if any of you guys have tried the soap. This is a mask cleaner. Um, let me know if any of you guys have used this. Um, or drop down with some suggestions on what you use to clean masks. I really don't want to damage them. And, you know, oftentimes I wear makeup and I don't want it to stain the masks. And definitely don't want to catch bacteria and, um, um, you know, get pimples and stuff. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I have been having some pimples. I don't know, like one, two, not too many, like four. Um, it's not a big deal, I guess, but for some, but for me, wow. I'm just going to breathe for a little moment, just so you guys could uh, take it in. was um pleasing to hear <laughs> um so uh, yeah <laughs> back on that topic um if i had another mask it would be perfect because i could smell this the smell is not pleasant um but uh <laughs> Speaking of stuff like that, uh, I had a photo shoot at um, my new place of work. I've been here for five um, months already. Uh, I haven't talked to anybody about it here on the site, but if you follow me on my other stuff, then you kind of know what I'm up to and where I'm at most of the time. Um, I... Uh, do <laughs> I, I work at a dungeon. I'm a dungeon kitty now, and I love it. I love going to work. It's uh, you know, <laughs> it's really cool. And there's um, there's masks there that um, maybe one day I can make a video of the masks that are <laughs> that I came across at work, and I'll try them on for you guys. Um, but I was having a photo shoot with um, a client. He's really cool. Um, really, really cool. Um, well, he wanted to incorporate the masks, um, which was this one, and my Russian mask here, and, um, my Finnish mask also. It's over there somewhere. Um, <laughs> um, again, I don't remember, this was, this was my favorite mask. <laughs> I just, uh, lubed it up today. It's nice and shiny. Um, I made a video, some private video with this just a bit ago, so I wanted it nice and shiny. This is not my preferred, uh, shiny, um, I'm more into a B-gloss person of it. I thought I was going to need it right away for a latex photo shoot, but it looks like we're going to have to do that this weekend. Um, anyway, he wanted to incorporate the masks, uh, didn't care for the filters, so I really, like, just, I don't know, I felt like such a hypocrite, because I'm always talking about how I always get, like, cringe, you know, when I don't see the filters on the mask. So I was pretty rebellious of me, and I kind of went with the shoot anyway, because it was supposed to be, like, wasteland, like, psycho girl with, like, implement in her hand, and 
kind of like an industrial, like apocalyptic vibe, sort of, you know? So, um, and I don't guess it wasn't really necessary. <laughs> but I, I feel weird. I always feel weird, you know? Gotta have to filter it. Um, I've upgraded a lot on filters. I've been looking into, um, you know, the most modern, safest filters. Uh, um, and, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> um, there's a lot of cool ones out there, um, uh, uh, more notable ones like Safety First and Keen Tactical, um, I want to look into different ones as well, um, so if you guys know of any other cool ones, um, let me know. Uh, I usually shop online, I've yet to hit the surplus store, surprisingly, um, uh, I just feel like I'm never gonna get out of there, so I'm kind of afraid of going because, like, I'm just gonna fall in love with so many things, like, jackets and <sighs> backpacks and masks, of course, so, uh, maybe I'll make a video of my first time at one and just checking out everything and doing quick try-ons and picking the best one for my budget or whatever, and, um, where you guys can let me know, hey, that one looks good on you, hey, that one kind of looks weird, that would be cool too, you know, maybe I can do, like, a live, my first live, um, shoot at, um, at a store, so you guys can experience my first experience, <laughs> uh, front row seat to that, uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, like I'm saying, <laughs> this pictures came out really, really cool. Um, I posted them on my old Instagram, and I keep getting removed. And if you guys haven't noticed that I keep getting deleted, my PayPal is total boycotting Kiwi. <laughs> oh, Kiwi. Yeah, it's, uh, I didn't really talk about that for them. It's um, a nickname that I've had since... Ooh, I was in like seventh grade. Uh, there's these machines. So you know, I was in middle school, seventh and eighth grade. And uh, there's these little machines that um, uh, sold like plastic bottle juices, and, and there was this one called Strawberry Kiwi, and I loved, loved it. It was a dollar. Um, I never had dollar and this to spare would always buy one. I was pretty fairly addicted to it. Every day I would try and get one. And if I didn't have a dollar, I would ask my um <laughs> you know, like like my little colleagues, can I have a dollar, please? <laughs> I wanna buy one. Um and there was this girl I had for art class, um uh, you know, I would talk to her a lot, um and especially in art class and outside, you know, like recess and breaks. Oh, that smells being overwhelming. Yeah, this is gonna be the first thing I wash because it's not. <sighs> I might just pass out. Um, so, um, as I was saying, um, I had trail off so much and. Which gives me more reason to talk about the things I didn't really touch in the next episode. So, um, <laughs> did I just call this an episode? Oh, this is my show. What is my show? This is my show, my channel, right? So, episode, webisode, whatever. Video, video, video. Okay. Maybe the smell is making me crazy right now. Maybe it's like some really strong tobacco, and now I'm just like <sighs> on edge. Just kidding. Um, oh wait, I'm supposed to be calm, right? But I don't know. What do people smoke to calm themselves down usually, right? Or to like curb their diet? I mean, appetite. Or like uh, if their heart r was racing, or if they just like sweated so much. I noticed that it's common to smoke a cigarette. Um, um I've done content with cigarettes, like ash, human ashtray, I've been a human ashtray before, and I'd open my mouth and right on, right on my tongue, I'm still lit, and um, sometimes 
you know, it burns a little. <laughs> but since your tongue is wet, I try to kind of keep it wet, you know? So it doesn't hurt as much, but, uh, um, and then, like, I will do, like, like, videos of me smoking, you know, and like I said, cigarettes are not preferred smoking, but, but I know there's specific fetishes for just cigarettes, and I'll, I'll do it, you know, but, uh, uh, I'm just not, it's not my favorite thing, um, I could do without, <laughs> So, again, I trumped off. <laughs> what was I talking about? <laughs> um, um, so, yeah, 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 I'm, I put my job. I really love it. I get to choose my own schedule. Um, I've met a lot of cool people. I've worked with a lot of awesome um, people as well. And just, you know, it's been really rewarding. Um, uh, so it'd be really cool if you guys would come visit. Um, it'd be best if you would call. You want to see me live? You want to see all my masks because I take all of my masks, all my belts, all my whips, all my chains. No, I'm just kidding. I don't have any whips, but I have all my chains and belts and um, all my masks, every mask, um, cool outfits. Um, some think I bring too much, which is true. I just try not to let it be in the way of anyone so you know um but i'm always prepared um but it's best if you would leave an appointment call for an appointment or send me an email that way i'm prepared with any custom clothing or just to be sure that i have the mask that you think of uh gifts are always welcome but um it's located in uh los angeles by lax um so, you know, if you're across the country, just jump in that plane. And as for me, Submissive Kiwi at Sanctuary LEX. And um, Google it, whatever, find out. Um, but, um, yeah, we can, we can have a great time. Um, you know, just read the website, really. There's a lot of rules, and you just got to read through that and if you can abide by the rules and, and you know we can set boundaries and limits and we can talk if it's not what we're looking for you know sorry you can email me um get to know each other um and man <laughs> uh yeah <laughs> because I do get some funny emails sometimes about my stories and um speaking about oh, wanting to meet me and stuff and I'm just like oh well, come to my work yeah, it's a safe place and um yeah and just read through the website um pick a desired time to spend and we can totally get <laughs> make make that happen but um again um uh we have rules I have rules um so, don't cross them, or the masked gang will come to get you. <laughs> or, maybe you would like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> no. Anyway, so... <laughs> um, <laughs> well, uh definitely have more cool things to show you and talk about so I'll get to that next time All right there I think that was oh, we talked a lot I talked a lot today <laughs> um, and then oh, cause as always um, um, ask me about my premium content um, again I'm still working on getting my sides up but um, I did fairly well negotiating and creating custom content through emails and stuff but soon for those that are maybe a little too shy to hit me up or just don't even know my youtube channel and are just you know fans that haven't even don't even know about me um will have a chance to know me and word gets around apparently on forums and stuff i noticed um pink toxins was talking about me and i felt really special but sad because at the moment i had on in a little hiatus and <sighs> I do get distracted <laughs> but don't we all well it was very great speaking to you um 
Yes, so... <laughs> Yes, I burped. 